Hi there and welcome back to the FTV Guy videos. As you know, today we are at NAB 2016 and you know I could not go to NAB this year without visiting DJI for the new amazing M6 for the new amazing M600, if I could speak. And with me here, I've got Barry in support. And unlike me, he actually knows what he's talking about. So, huh. Barry, what have we got here? What we have here is a brand new uh, heavy lifting flagship from DJI. This is the M600 or Matrix 600 line. This is their new heavy lifter. Um, and what there's a lot of different things over the S line, like the M S600, X900, S800. Um, you're going to see. You're going to see. There's an array. But of since, since you said S, I want to bring up one really huge issue. This is not an issue, but an advantage. This is not a brand new clean sheet design. It's an evolved design because I recognize components that yes, have been do. around for yes, years. You do. Which things means like, this is a tested design. Things like design. the foldable props, for example, this guy here. Because it works. It works. You know, we don't have issues with this. It locks nice. It makes it so it can fit into a small form factor, put it in a van. I'm sure people will be making cases. Um, what you'll notice different? Much larger motors. These are monsters. These are monsters. These are 21 inch carbon fiber props. Look at the lift underneath what there. What kind of power do we have on this? You know, that's a hell of a good question. I mean, we're guys, we, we need to talk power. Let's talk ridiculous. Let's say, I, this doesn't know what a finger is. It doesn't care. It's that much power. You don't it want to get the involved power. with this. Thing. It has the power to of easily it, so you can kind of see. 13 pounds, this actually has the, including the, the brand new Ronin MX with a red in it. So you, wow. for and I noticed you've got a focusing you system there. We do, and uh, coming off the, this is DJI's focus, and we it's going to go through all the modules so here. It's going to go through what we call the can the bus, and it's going to be, the signal is going to be downlink through the light bridge, okay. a very familiar system for DJI. And all I got to do is just on my controller. Off, can see that. See, there's a CAN bus port here. Oh, that's what that's for? Yeah. The people have been wanting for years. What is that for? I could have told you. So that means I can have a focus puller standing off-site yes. or next to me. I can have this nice little knob that I turn as opposed to using a slider on an iPad. Wow. So that means precision movements. Well, you said you cannot shoot motion picture production with a slider on an iPad. I can't. Nobody maybe somebody can. out there can. No, I don't think so. You know, maybe if I trim my fingernails just so. But the way it is nah. right now, no. So could this be focus? Yes, it could also be zoom. It can also be whatever you like, however you want to have more than one. You know, I'm not sure on that yet. I'm waiting to find out because I believe so. And the reason why is because it looks like I can piggy bank. So what it does is show that real quick. So on the module right here, you've got an in and there's an out. So meaning you can daisy chain them kind of like an advanced system. I was going to run over there. Oh, don't move. I just got abandoned. And he's back. Oh, he's back. Mm -hmm. DJI Focus. So with this here, I can get precision controls, be it Focus. And I like that you have that looks like a little Bluetooth antenna Well, we wouldn't be using that. We're actually going to go hardwired right out of this port into the back of our remote. So we're going to be on a tabletop or whatever. We're not going to be doing wireless. Why? This has a range of three to five kilometers away. That's RF. That's right, right, we're right. using it on a Ronin or a Ronin. Right. So, you know, with just one flip of one lever underneath here, I can just unclip this entire thing and then I have a handheld unit. So, now, how, what is the full... And actually, let's get a close-up of that real quickly. So, what we got here... I want you to actually hold this. I want you to feel the build quality of that. Oh, my God. This is like it's mill from a break of metal. It's, it's unbelievable. And, and what this really is, this feels exactly like a wheel should feel for focus pulling. Yep, and it comes with wow. extras of these, you know, because we draw all over them. Um, and then we can also set hard focusing points. Well, what if we can do that? So you can set hard endpoints on this? Yeah, oh yeah. Lovely. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, we can't expect that. Focus racking, it has to be done. You can adjust the tension on it. Everything has multiple modes because I might want to control aperture and focusing, or I might want to, or, or focusing, or I might want to control zoom or focusing. So I just double tap buttons and it's controlling these that modules. That is a lovely piece. Stuff. Let's, let's get back to the M600. 
it, there's a couple of major things here I want to point out. We, now we have six batteries in here. Chances of all of those dying at the same time it's is not going to happen. That's remote. It's not going to happen. Let's say that let's say battery two that has an issue with one of his cells is still going to fly. This is all one big battery. But what I'm seeing here, evolutionary wise, by the way, how much does what is the max payload on this? About 13 pounds. So 13 pounds, yeah. which is about six kilograms. Something like that. Yeah, and that's that's including the Ronin too. You got to understand the Ronin in itself will hold more weight. That's the max if lifting I, if capability. I, if I were to remove the red camera, what am I looking at money-wise here? $59.99, and that includes the batteries, the controller system, and, the flight and the system. Gimbal? Yes. $59.99. $59.99, yeah. Now, and that, that includes the single A3. Single A3, light bridge. If I want the triple A3? It's about four to $500 upgrade. I think there's pricing on okay. it right there. So for another, less than another $1,000, you are seven you grand, you can have so much redundancy, it's ridiculous. Well, and that's really what I'm after here is because we got the six batteries. The other major upgrade here is you now can have three flight controllers mm -hmm. that is making a majority decision for safety. And batteries, and this has been a hard time for a lot of people, and batteries that are under 100 milliwatt hours, these can be carried on planes. So you can carry on. Yes, it's carried on. Yeah. So, yeah. And, that, and that, of course, is the reason we're not doing a 5,000 monster battery here. It's no reason to anymore, you know. Um, they are well, going to do a, Well, they're going to do a 5,400. Okay. Version, of course they were, like the equivalent of the TB48 on an Inspire. They're absolutely going to be doing it. But those aren't safe for carrying on planes. And we, don't, we promote safety first. So being able to just get these TB47 equivalents, and the rumor is that they are coming out with a six battery charger. Okay. So, okay. so that way we can charge oh, okay. six, so at six at a time? Six at a time? So I'm not like plugging really one in at, because I'm six at a time, if I want to do three flights, I have 18 batteries. Yep. Holy snot. Yeah, you're gonna want you're gonna want a lot of batteries no matter what. You know? Depending on what you're flying. So let's let's look at this. Right now we have a red on here, right? And so we got a decent amount of weight with the glass focus and everything. I know I'm gonna get 15 minutes flight time. Out of this, but let's say I don't need all this to get the shots I wanna do. I just just unclip the Ronin and put on an X5 adapter plate and put on DJI's X5 Pro. So now I can shoot raw 4K. And that's another issue is this aircraft will actually fly if somebody already have an X5. Oh yeah, this will fly from the, with the X adapter plate, you'll be able to fly the X3. You'll be able to fly the X5, the X5 Pro. And then above that, now we're getting, it'll fly all the current Zenmuse HD gimbals. So the Canon HD, and the I mean, Sony HD. Here's the thing, in all fairness, a lot of people keep going, oh, I need this, I need that. But frankly, an F5 or an X5 camera does 90% of what you need for commercial production. Absolutely, absolutely. Everybody thinks they need a red for their YouTube they, videos. They, they really they don't. They actually don't. But if I put an X5 or even or an X5 Pro, let's shoot raw video, I'm gonna get 35 minutes flight time out of something like this. But, I've taken all the weight out. Wow. But also the other reason, that one of the main, as far as I'm concerned, the main reason to fly a red camera mm -hmm. is to be able to edit it into the re yes. remaining production. That's right. Because it's really not that we need shallow depth of field 2,000 feet in the air. There is nothing shallow that'll feel that way. Right. No, no, no. That's why I focus in infinity when yeah. I'm watching. Everybody, you know, we want to do all these different things. There is several occasions, though. For example, the X5, I can put a 14 to 42 zoom lens on it. Because the, because the X series and they're cameras... And because it's a micro four thirds. It's all tiny sensor. stuff. And because the X series cameras are all developed and manufactured by DJI directly, we have full camera control. I can control my ISO, I control right. my aperture, I control my shutter. From your iPad. Though. From my iPad, <laughs> yes. We were just talking From, iPad. But and, can you focus and, rack with your focus yes, wheel? I can, in an Inspire. Even, ah. even in an Inspire. In order to do focusing on, on something aerial on a third-party camera, we're going to need, of course, a focusing wheel. Of course. But we'll that's work. standard, you know? Yeah, I mean, that... So, it's, it's remarkable. So, Barry, yeah. I appreciate you explaining this to me. And I know, unlike most people that's looking at this today, Barry actually knows what he's talking about when it comes to flying. So stay tuned for more NAB 2016 videos. And, of course, subscribe and check out the new... M600 at DJI.com and at CarolinaDrones.com.
And what he is showing off here, we can't leave yet, because that's an XT camera, which is the new thermal camera from DJI that literally is plug and play with the Inspire, or of course with an M600, but I don't think you need an M600 to fly that. Um, actually, it's kind of a big deal for me because that's my main forte is teaching officials search and rescue using ah. aerial drones. So if I put an XT camera on here, I'm talking 40 minutes. And it might take 40 minutes to find a victim. It, it, it may take room. longer. Yes, I have but, more time in the air. But, but since we are talking thermal real quickly, People often think this is a View Pro, but it's not. It's a no, tower. No, it's a tower. What's it's the tower. difference? Radiometry. Yeah, yeah, I mean, you know, Flow Tools is coming, everything. I can measure temperature instantaneously of services. Plus, I have all the bells and whistles that you would think of of any of Flow Town. All the different versions of to be able to see in the middle of the night. And one, and one of the tricks here, of course, is you can settle, you can focus, or you can temperature lock, to say a human being, fly over a forest, and the only thing you're gonna see is when you bleep on a whole human being. That's coming, that's coming. So it's not out yet? It's coming. But you can only do that because it's radiometric. That's right. And all these things are gonna come forth. Understand, this is a brand new enterprise problem. I spent hours on the phone with Fleur, learning, how, everybody always says radiometry, nine times out of 10, they're talking about thermology. For example, right. I'm learning this as fast as I can. Right now, I just want to be able to find somebody's child in the ocean before he drowns. Very um, good move. That, that is what I'm doing this year. I'm going to do this. Wow. If it's not me, it'll be somebody that I taught how to do this. We're going to save lives in this technology. If I put and a bird matters. up like this, a bird up like this with a camera like that is going to be able to fly faster, deploy faster, and be in a specific location, and be in the air longer than a Coast Guard but the, helicopter. But the other thing that also, the other thing right now this year, drones are developing so fast. Yes. So what we're really looking at needs to happen is SOPs for these events. Yes. How do we fly them? How do we interoperate with other departments, etc.? And you nailed it right there. It's, it's standard operating procedures. People are having to develop their own because the technology is leapfrogging the ability to make this happen. So somebody just needs to start doing it. Like my fire chief, for example. Right. Him and I are going to work together in our local areas and freely give the information to everybody else. When it comes to life-saving, there should be no monitoring oh, output on this. Absolutely. And so uh, he's into it. I'm into it. We couldn't find any SOPs for so doing this. pick this one up for me again. Let's wrap this up with a shot of this close-up. Is. So that is a Tau camera on an Inspire. And that's about ten thousand dollars. It's a ten thousand dollar camera. Click on, push the button, go yep. save lives. Mm -hmm. It's that simple. Uh, we got a six forty video downlink directly into DJI's familiar Go application. So yeah. So if you can fly in, if you can fly an Inspire, you can fly this. That's right. Real time. And, you you know, gotta I love thermal cameras. I love the thermal cameras. I do. I'm having a lot of fun with them. Man. So, so guys, that is now the XT from DJI. About ten thousand dollars, but it is plug and play thermal camera for the Inspire. If you can fly an Inspire, you can do search and rescue with the XT. And with me, I had Barry today. Again, I'm Bo Lorenzen, the FPV guy. And we're gonna be back with more videos from NAB 2016, brought to you by carolinadrones.com, bringing you all the new drones.